Lois, is the air conditioning on? I just woke up from a nap and I feel drafty. Peter, we don't have air conditioning. Well, that's awful peculiar. <gasps> oh, my God! Peter, look! Oh, damn it, Dylan! What the hell? Well, thank God I'm full of Play-Doh. <gasps> There we are. That's it. I'm telling Brian he has to rein Dylan in once and for all. Hey, where is Brian, anyway? <laughs> oh, thanks, Lois. Dylan put this paper bag on my head, and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get it off. That kid's a sociopath. Well, it's time you lay down the law with him. I couldn't agree more. I am going to kick him out of this house faster than NASA kicked out the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screening. Okay. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. All right, Dylan, you know what? This isn't working out. All right, I don't care that I'm your father, and you don't care that you're my son. We don't have anything in common. I think it's best if you just get out of this house. Fine, I hate it here anyhow. Get out of my way. My, my pot! pot! Your pot? And then in chapter 28 of my novel, the other pilots finally trust the Japanese pilot and let him, let him into um, their group. Dude, that is an amazing story. Hey, hey, what if um, they were Korean pilots? Yeah, I'm, I'm not really looking for notes, but you know, Dylan, I gotta tell you something. I'm sorry I wasn't around when you were growing up. Don't. Just, just don't. I, it, it, if I had known having a son could be like this. How I, dare you? I didn't you know. Had no right, man. No right. It wasn't my you fault. You weren't there for me. Damn it, don't you think I wanted to be? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Look, I know I wasn't there for you, man, for all those years, but that's going to change. It's going to be different from now on, and I'm going to make you into a better person starting first thing tomorrow. Just pass him through. See anything you like, speak up. Hey there, everybody. Was somebody looking for a son with a bright new path to adulthood and his very, very proud dad? Oh, Dylan, you got a haircut. Aren't you handsome? From now on, I plan on being a real father to Dylan. And together, we are going to turn his life around. Right, champ? You said it, Dad. All right. You ready for school? Yeah. Hey, can I drive today? Oh, this kid. He's only 13. I know. I was just kidding. Oh, we got a young Adam Sandler here, I think. Right? Right? Yes. Bye, Mom. Bye. Hey, Dylan. Have a great day at school. Thanks, Dad. Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? You're there. I'll always be there, Dylan. Hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Danny Zuko. <laughs> oh, come on. The audition's not till three. Don't jinx it. You know, Brian, Dylan could have just carpooled with me and the kids. Oh, Lois, uh, Dylan is very special to me, and... Well, didn't you just get a ticket for running a red light? Yeah, like six years ago. And I got that ticket because I got distracted because you were leaning out the window barking at a cow. So you admit you ran the red light? Fuck you. Whoa, not the kind of language I want Dylan exposed to. Have fun with your dead kids, reckless driver. Crudely painted, not so funny, plywood cut out folk art. Crudely painted, not so funny, plywood cut out folk art. Crudely painted, not so funny, plywood cut out folk art. Hi, I'm Al Harrington of Al Harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man warehouse and emporium. As an unwanted result of a recent lawsuit, I am now in possession of hundreds of pallets of crudely painted, not so funny, plywood cut out folk art. And it's just waiting to transform your uncut trash strewn lawn into a living canvas that tells passers by, hey everyone, a real funny bugger lives here. Your neighbors will chuckle warmly and motorists will Slow down and applaud when they cast their eyes on such favorites as sort of Ben and Jerry's looking cow, black silhouetted cowboy leaning on barn, and everybody's favorite, fat woman bending over tending to her garden in big polka dotted bloomers. Most of this stuff is priced to move, and until it does, it's an enormous fire hazard, so please come see me on Route 2 in Weekapog. Look for the sort of Ben and Jerry's cow out front.